so let us continue classification of amino acid you have already seen classification of amino acid based on the structure or side chain there are seven and second major is based on solubility or polarity um, okay now third is the classification of amino acid based on the nutritional requirement this is very important so whether they that amino acid is absolutely required or not based on that essential semi essential and non essential okay so based on the nutritional requirement amino acids are classified into essential semi essential and non essential amino acid okay uh, two semi essential eight two and ten okay so uh, ten essential two semi essential remaining eight non essential amino acid okay so what are those essential amino acid essential as the name indicates essential amino acids are required for health they are definitely required for health but are not synthesized in the body that is why they are called as essential so they have to be supplied through the diet so essential amino acids are not synthesized in our body that is absolutely required from our diet so so there are 10 essential amino acids uh, we can use a mnemonic that is short form mat will fly so exam don't write mat will fly okay so so that you can remember threonine methionine arginine tryptophan valine isoleucine leucine phenylalanine histidine and lysine these are the 10 essential amino acids so we can remember as matt will fly mat will fly what are semi essential semi half essential see this arginine and histidine called as semi essential amino acids as they are not essential for normal adult for adult it is not required but needed to be supplied through the diet for children pregnant and lactating women that because they need more quantity uh, especially children's uh, children uh, pregnant and lactating women it is required as they are not synthesized in adequate amount required they cannot meet the required amount in children and fetus because the, there are uh, uh, requirement is more rd value is more in children and growing fetus and also in lactating women okay otherwise normal adult that is not required so what are those two semi essential amino acid arginine and histidine are two semi essential amino acid so essential 10 mat will fly that it, uh, those histidine and arginine semi essential non essential these amino acids are required for health and are synthesized in the body by metabolic pathways inside the body it is synthesized so it is not absolutely required from diet like uh, glucogenic amino acid glycine alanine cysteine serine thio uh, tyrosine aspartic acid glutamic acid aspartic glutamine and aspartic glutamine and proline these are the eight amino acids which are non essential so this is the third one classification fourth classification based on the metabolic fit based on the metabolic fit based on the metabolic fit uh, what they are going to uh, after metabolism what are the product or what is the fit of this amino acid some are glucogenic glucogenic means synthesis of glucose from their carbon so the uh, glucose can be synthesized from some amino acid like glycine glucogenic some are ketogenic synthesis of ketone actually from the fat we can synth- uh, the body can synthesize ket- ketone okay ketone body keto acetone esterate and all ketone is one type of fuel molecule okay energy molecule okay 
so amino acid based on the metabolic fit so their amino acids are classified as glucogenic ketogenic and both glucogenic and ketogenic genic means synthesis from the some amino acid we can synthesize uh, ketone uh, glucose and some are both glucogenic and ketogenic what are those glucogenic amino acid as i told mainly glycine alanine serine cysteine etc glucogenic they contribute their carbon skeleton for the synthesis of glucose they contribute their carbon skeleton for the synthesis of glucose through the metabolic pathway of gluconeogenesis glucogenic amino acid contribute carbon skeleton for the synthesis of glucose through metabolic pathway of gluconeogenesis mainly in the liver gluconeogenesis means new means new okay from the new compound glucose can be synthesized so uh, 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 other than glycogen and all gluconeogenesis so here carbon skeleton of amino acid is used for gluconeogenesis for the uh, formation of glucose so this glucogenic amino acid glycine alanine serine cysteine and all that is why this uh, amino acid also uh, energy can be uh, uh, obtained from amino acid that means from the protein so ketogenic amino acid contribute the synthesis of acetyl coa which in turn form ketone bodies so ketogenic amino acid contribute the synthesis of acetyl coa so uh, these are the things comes under metabolism so, so metabolism is not there in your uh, for you for the first sem and uh, because uh, only combined syllabus we are studying because of the six month those are further studying they study more uh, uh, this uh, uh, metabolism and all so glucogenic ketogenic uh, second one ketogenic they contribute for the synthesis of acetyl coa which in turn form ketone bodies okay acetone acetoacetate beta hydroxy butyric acid these are the ketone bodies so why it is important they are they are uh, they are fuel molecules okay that much you should know so leucine is the only pure ketogenic amino acid leucine is the only pure ketogenic amino acid so there is a chance of multiple choice question okay mcq which of the following is pure ketogenic amino acid a b c d leucine is pure ketogenic amino acid so some uh, third one is uh, based on the metabolic fate third is both some are both ketogenic and uh, glucogenic aromatic amino acid like tryptophan tyrosine phenylalanine isoleucine lysine are both glucogenic and ketogenic so last uh, classification of amino acid based on the charge acidic amino acid they they have acidic r group carboxylic coh glutamic acid and aspartic acid then basic amino acid they have basic nh2 group 1 r group what is r group we have already seen the structure of uh, general representation of amino acid one side it contains carboxylic group other side it contains nh2 group so r is the variable group there is acidic and basic along with that is r group so these contains r group also carboxylic or nh2 or other basic group so basic amino acid they have basic r group acidic amino acid they have acidic r variable group so basic is lysine arginine and histidine acidic glutamic acid and aspartic acid now neutral amino acid they have neutral r group no charge glycine alanine etc so this is the general classification of carbohydrate uh, sorry amino acid so so you have to remember that classification of amino acid based on the structure or side chain both meaning is same here so there are seven hydroxy sulfur containing and all that is very important there is chance of short note on essential amino acid or semi or uh, non essential amino acid so uh, you have to remember all 10 uh, 20 amino acid and uh, 8 is non essential 2 is uh, semi essential and 10 amino acid is essential amino acid okay so that is it